Ninguno de mis alumnos se ha conectado porque están... Hi, Jocelyn, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, and you? Good, I think no one, I thought everybody was going to abandon me because everybody's, you know, watching the TV right now. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how was your and day? We, um, busy because I am home office and I was working. Okay. Remind me, where do you work? In Wellin, Vietcom. Ah, okay. So you're doing home office? Yeah. Okay, home nice. Uh-huh, okay, nice. Super. Then I, uh, I have homework to uh -huh. university. Okay. My what, are you, what are you studying at the university? Uh, marketing international. International marketing. Ah, international marketing. Oh, okay. Mm. What year are you studying right now? What? What year? What year are you studying right now? Third. Third, third year? Mm -hmm. ah, third year? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What? And you work in one link? How long have you been working for one link? Uh, three years. Ah, three years. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, nice. I heard they had an English program right there. Why haven't you joined to the classes inside the company? Mm, I can hear you. Sorry. They have they have classes in your job. I think they have classes too, right? Like English classes. They have an English program. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Okay, well, we're just gonna wait for a couple more minutes or if not, like, let's just wait until 9.05 to see if um, somebody else connects and then we can get started with the activity. I guess everybody's like watching TV, that's why they have not connected. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> just gonna give them like two minutes and then we're gonna get started. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Um, I have a question about the platform. Okay, mm -hmm. tell me. I I should work in platform, but um, there are there are uh, um, exercises. Mm-hmm. Uh, limit. <laughs> but uh, is there a limit of time? Well, you have four weeks. So when we finish the sessions in the month, precisely, that's when you should be able to fin. Some of you guys work faster than others. Some of, for example, we are we are in unit two right now, but some of you guys are working already in unit three, unit four, and it all depends on the availability of time that you have. The idea is that within a month, you finish your, the idea is that within a month, you finish your, the time, you know, you finish the, the platform. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Where are you right now in your platform? Have you started or have you not started yet? Uh, a little. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So the idea is that, that in your free time, that you work on the platform too, okay? Yeah. So you have, yes. you have the month, okay, like by, so we started, this is our second week, right? Since this is our second week of this month, then supposedly we're gonna be finished like around the 21st. One, two, three, four, yeah. So the 21, let's see, one, two, three, four. So by the 22nd of April, by April 22, you should be finished. 
with um, all the all the all the platform mm -hmm. uh, with all okay, the activities okay, okay. on the platform what will happen is this your first time in the using the platform doesn't it yeah or, okay yes. <laughs> you will you will you will find some glitches like some little mistakes on the platform or perhaps some a uh, uh, some Sometimes you will find yourself that you're not, you want to type the answer, it's not taking the answer. My suggestion mm -hmm. is that we have a WhatsApp group and on the WhatsApp group, you can post, are you added to that, to that group? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so have you seen that sometimes they post images and, and hey, I cannot do this exercise. So the idea with the group is that if you find yourself like struggling with uh, some of the exercises from the platform, then you know the guys can actually help you out with it okay so that's okay. the idea mm -hmm. that's okay. the idea with it mm -hmm. for them to to for you know for all of you to actually help each other okay now yeah. okay thank you okay yeah super so for example today our topic it's the present perfect do you know what the present perfect is mm, perfect I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Let me okay. think. Oh, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna go over it. Okay, so the simple past is just saying finished actions that happened uh, yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, and you just use one verb, right? You use the main verb to say I went, for example, I went uh, to my backyard yesterday to clean it. Okay, I went to my backyard yesterday afternoon to clean it or i i went to the supermarket a week ago for example so it's an action that finished it happened and that was it so okay. the simple past the simple past is that it's just using one main verb whether one. it's regular or irregular in the past but you have indicators that actually tell you that that action finished with the present perfect it's a little bit different it has an auxiliary plus the past participle of the verb. Why? Because it's an action that it's unfinished, that started in the past, came to the present. You never know if it's going to go into the future, okay? Let's watch okay. this small video about it and then we're gonna talk about it, okay? About how its structure is, okay? Okay. The present perfect is unfinished time. What is unfinished time? Unfinished time is an unbroken connection between the past and the present. A good way to understand it is to compare unfinished time with finished time. With finished time, we use the past simple. I went to Paris last year. Last year is finished time. So it's like you, like I was mentioning at the beginning. So my indicator of a, the simple past, it's saying, I just said, I went. Okay, I, and then the verb in the past tense. And then I'm giving you an, a specific indicator, last year. So I finished the activity. So it happened, it's not gonna happen again. Okay. Oh, I really miss Paris. But look at this sentence. I have been to Paris twice. Here the context is unfinished time. What is? What's the difference when I say, I have been to Paris twice? For you, for you what's the difference? I have been to Paris twice versus I went to Paris last year. Okay. I have been to Paris twice. Mm -hmm. I have been to Paris twice. Heard the, heard the connect. Mm -hmm. I went, <clears throat> I said, I went to Paris last year and I have been to Paris twice, two times. I have been to Paris two twice. Two times means twice. I'm sorry, twice means two times. So I, I went to Paris last year, finish, simple past. But the okay. structure for I have been to Paris twice means that I went once, I came back, and I went again. Okay? It's repeat, so, it's repeat the action. Yes, so the action mm -hmm. was unfinished because I have been, and I can say I have been to Paris, not necessarily using twice. 
So I can say I have been to Paris, maybe more than once, maybe more than twice. Maybe I have been there every year. Okay. So that's okay. why it's unfinished. Versus I went to Paris last year and last year. So this year I haven't gone and I might not go in next year, etc. So it's finished versus I have been to Paris back and forth, back and forth. That's why it's called unfinished. Okay. Next is unfinished time. What is the unfinished time? Here you're talking about experiences in your life. Your life is unfinished time. So we use the present perfect. When you are dead and you are spoken about at your funeral, they will say, he loved France. <laughs> he visited Paris many times. Finish time, game over. Unfinished time can be clearly seen in this present perfect sentence. I have lived in Paris for five years. You moved to Paris five years ago and you still live there now. This is unfinished. I, I time. Wanted, I wanted this Compare example. it with finish time. I lived in Paris for five years. I want to write this other example. I have lived in Paris for five years. Okay. Okay, so it's still present perfect. The structure of present perfect is, it's called present perfect for the following reason. Because my auxiliary is going to be in the present, it's going to be has, for she, he, or it, and have for the rest, whether it's plural or singular, okay? I have, or they have, or you know, we have. And then has for she, he, or it. So that's why it's called present perfect because the auxiliary is going to be have or has, and then the past tense of the verb is going to be, um, a, a, I'm sorry, and then have plus a verb in the past participle whether it's regular or irregular, okay? So you say, I have lived. I don't say I have lived or I have worked. I have to use the past participle of the verb. I have given, I have driven, I have taught, I have loved, I have, so it's going to be a have or has plus a verb in the past participle. Participle, oh, okay. The past participle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's gonna be the structure for present perfect. That's the reason why it's called present perfect because it's the perfect combination between present and the past tense. Okay. Yes, before moving back home to Moscow. You lived in Paris for five years, but you don't live there now. So when you find yourself asking, what is the present perfect? Remember that the present perfect is unfinished time. Mo so this is a British channel called Mo or Brown Cow English. I think Brown Cow English. <laughs> Brown cow English. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is this right. This is just a brief explanation of the present perfect. But then again, just recapping, the present perfect is unfinished time. And there's sometimes you will find yourself with words like those are going to be your keywords that are going to be indicating you if it's present perfect, if it's simple past. So go with those keywords. Okay. For example, um, you could use. Um, with since, for example, I have known Karen since 1994. Okay, whenever you sin, use since, most likely it's going to be present perfect. Um, you could also use this week, this month, this year, okay, for unfinished time. I have not seen her this month, okay? I have not seen her this month. I'm using have or has plus the past participle, and I'm using the indicator this month. Also, I have lost my keys, so I can get into my, I cannot get into my house. So it's also a present result. I have lost my keys or I, I have lost my cell phone. So in the past, it started in the past, it's still going in the present and you still don't know where it is. So it's a present, that's why it's called a present result. Then we have also for life experiences, you can use a, the present perfect with ever or never. For example, I have been 
to San Miguel. I have been to Santana. So that would be the positive way for the present perfect. But what would be the negative way for the present perfect? What would be the negative way? If I say, I have been to Tokyo, but you have never been there, how would you use a negative way of this? Give me an example. My positive, uh-huh. I have... Yes, I have. I have. I have. Seen, I have seen to. My positive is I have been to Tokyo. I My have, negative would be I have never been to Tokyo. I have I never have, been to Tokyo. Okay, okay, I have visited. This, this Very good. I have visited to Tokyo. United, uh, mm -hmm. Tokyo, United States. I have in visited Tokyo. Mm -hmm. United Very good. States. Exactly. So it's have been or have never or have not. You could say have never or even I have not visited Tokyo. Very good example. Uh -huh. I have not visited Tokyo. Okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Let's pay attention to more examples. I have a couple more examples with some cartoons and some movie trailers and some. Okay. And then we're going to play a game. Take a look. Is your uncle? Him? Uh uh. I've never seen him before. What was it? What was the present perfect there? I have been seen. I have been. He is your I uncle? have never. I have never seen him before. Very good. I have never seen him before. Very good. I have never seen him before. I've never seen him before. I've never been sick before. here i have never been sick before very good now if you see the contraction for i oops. if you see the contraction here here it's i i'm gonna write I've. the i I. 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 I just wrote it how it would sound okay not how you write it. it's i the e but you say i i've I've, I've never i've never now for me to be honest with you and this is like just between you and me i really dislike using contractions when learning english why because it's very difficult to pronounce it's very difficult to to manage at a certain point so first i suggest that you always even though the exercises might ask you to write down things in contraction my suggestion is when you speak try not to Try to say I have not been or instead of I've been I'm try to stay away from contractions for your pronunciation to sound better. Okay, that's just like a suggestion. Okay. Okay, so let me go back to the exercise. Darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Okay, what's my present perfect then? I have come to talk with you again. 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 You, again. Again. The A E, it's A. Again. 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 There you go. Again. 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 So you don't ever say again instead of again, you would say again. Again. Excellent. Very good. Again. Very good. Again. When you have two vowels, you pick one and you extend the sound. Again. 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 Mm -hmm. Again. Now, here, very good example. I have come to talk with you again. My indicator of present perfect is again. It's called present perfect because it's a combination of the present and the past. It's a perfect combination. So, again is another indicator that my sentence most likely is in present perfect okay i have come to talk to you again okay so sometimes it's good to look for indicators when when developing our exercises for present perfect 
I've made changes for you, Shrek. Think about that. Okay, what about here? I have made changes for you. I have made changes for you, okay? Change, change, changes. For you. I have made changes. For you. Changes. I have made changes for you. Changes. Changes for you. Mm -hmm. Changes. Yes. I've changes for you. Changes for you. What do you understand with this changes sentence? Changes for you. What do you understand with this sentence? What is the meaning? I have made changes for you guys. What's the meaning? What do you understand? I'm trying to tell you. I have made changes for you guys. What do you understand? Mm. He tried to say to Shrek, <laughs> she try to different or um, try to change the action, you know. <laughs> to be different, to act different, maybe she changed her personality, even her physical, maybe, right? Could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, if I tell you guys, you know what? We're going on a trip to Roatan, but since we have this pandemia, we're going over, you know, I'm going to have to make changes for you. So I'm going to have to rearrange the agenda or rearrange the schedule and move maybe the dates or do some changes for you to have that trip, but not right now, maybe in the future. So made changes also can mean that is when somebody changes your plan so you have to change things okay around so to make changes too to rearrange something mm -hmm. okay okay how long has he been gone two weeks my present perfect there now it's in a question. How long, has, how long has he been gone? Give me other examples in where you could use it with questions, maybe with WH questions or other type of questions that you can think of using the present perfect. I don't know, Miss. <laughs> What have you been doing? For example, I can tell you guys, what have you been doing? And everybody's going to tell me, watching Naive on TV. <laughs> Got you. Okay, so I can ask you, what have you been doing? What? What have you been doing? I what have you been doing? And what have, have you been doing? I have, and my answer is remember always the same way I ask you, the same way I answer. Okay, what have you been doing? And you would answer, I have been, and then what you have been doing, I have been. And it would tell me, No, teacher, I'm not watching TV, I have been having this exercise or cooking or <laughs> exercise, or and then you answer the same way. So you, the same way people ask you, that's the same way you answer, okay? So you answer back, uh, what have you been doing? I have been working, I have been studying, I have been, um, and then you would ask, okay? I have been cooking for my family, for example, okay? Okay. Now, what's the difference of, of adding ing and not adding ing? The first one is called present perfect. When you don't have a verb in ing, that's called present perfect. When you add ing to the verb, to the third verb, let's say, it becomes a present perfect continuous. For example, if I say, I have been cooking for hours. Okay, so if you see here, have been is my structure of present perfect, but it turns into continuous because I'm telling you that for hours I was cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking, right? For everybody to eat. So it stops being present perfect and it becomes present perfect continuous. What's the difference? It's just not only the structure, but it's because I'm telling you that for hours, 
I did an action. I started in the past, I came to, it came to the present, and I was cooking, I was in the kitchen for hours, okay? So that's present perfect, continues. Okay. Being hours. I've come to say goodbye. Commuting to work by bike has risen by about 60% in 10 years. Alice has escaped. Alice has escaped. Is there another way of using, instead of Alice, another example? Hmm. Let's change this for something else in the present, still using the present perfect. Alice have been escaped. Instead of Alice, maybe we can say she has escaped, maybe? Hmm. From who? Who is she? The Queen of Hearts? Is that the Queen of Hearts? Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't know who she is. I don't she know. She has escaped from, let's pretend it's a queen of hearts. So we say, she has escaped from the queen of hearts. This is she has perfect. escaped, escaped. From the queen of hearts. Of hearts. Of she, has, she has escaped from the queen of hearts. But what happens if we want to turn it into present perfect continuous? How would we change it? I would say, she has been escape escaping very good escaping, escaping. Mm -hmm. escaping. from the queen of hearts excellent very good she has been escaping from the queen of hearts so see it's just a minimum difference the difference is that we add ing to the present perfect continuous let's continue watching some more examples uh, I've made a decision. We're going to... Mm -hmm. I have made a decision. Let's make this one negative. Try to give me an example of this one, but in a negative form. I never... I have never made a decision. I have not... Mm -hmm. made I have decision. never been... Made a decision. I have never made a decision. I have, I have not... Never made a decision mm -hmm. I have not made a decision mm -hmm. I have not made a decision mm -hmm. okay very good very good let's take a look at another Who's that mountain have you ever imagined a future with me wow have you ever imagined the future with me? Do you think we can ask this question in negative? Can you try? Let's try to see if we can ask this negative. Uh, have you... Have you not? Um, have you... you Never imagine a future a future without me. Have no I have you never imagined a future a future with without me. me? Without me? Uh, with me. With me, right? Mm -hmm. um, have you negative. never imagined a future with me? Mm -hmm. Have you never imagined? Never imagined a future or have you with not? Me? Have you not? You could also say, Have you not? Haven't? Have, haven't have you not. ever? Haven't you ever? Haven't you ever? I'm not, haven't you ever? Mm -hmm. Haven't you ever imagined a future with me? Very good. Haven't you ever imagined a future with me? Very good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yes, I have, you think. <laughs> when you're so so in love my dream has come true thank you okay my negative for this one let's change it my negative for this one my dream has not has not ever has not ever has not come true my dream has not come true excellent my dream has not come true 
My dream has not come true. Okay. The maniac boob has ruined everything. This is bad. Their mother has not eaten for five months and has lost half her body weight. Okay. <laughs> this is negative. Let's turn this negative into positive. Give it another example, a random example with this one, but positive. Uh, the mother has ever has. We just ever take eaten? away. We just take away not. The mother has eaten. Has eaten. For five only. And has. Uh huh. Mm. Their mother has eaten for five months. And instead of has lost, the opposite. Because what happens when you eat for five months without exercising? You, instead of losing then, weight, you. Let me help you. Let me help you guys. He has eaten for five months and has gained. So when you, instead of losing weight, you have more weight, you say gain more. Has gained more, has gained half more of her body weight. Okay? Mm, so gain. when you gain weight, when you say the gain, opposite. it's the opposite it's of losing, mm -hmm. of losing weight. So you lose weight, you gain weight. Okay, so it's the opposite, gain and lose. For example, this, and this is a precise example for for weight. Okay, for weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you lose weight or you gain weight? Something wonderful has happened. Pregnant. Okay. What is the opposite? Here is a positive one. Let's do the negative. Something awful Something has happened. Has not, has not has not happened. Something wonderful has not happened. Okay. Very good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Has not happened. Very good. Very good. I've missed you so much. I have missed you so much. What's the negative? I have not I, missed you. I, I, I haven't missed you. I haven't missed you so much. Okay. Very good. I haven't or have not I have not missed you so much. Very good. Good job, guys. Super. Okay, so we finished with some of our exercises and now let's go to one of our games. Just give me a minute because I need to load it. Now let's play a little game with the present perfect. Okay, this is a present perfect game. You will have a couple of questions and I want you guys to answer to me for those questions, okay? With your own examples. But just give me a minute. Are you able to all see my screen right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to make full screen. There you go. Okay, our first question is. Wait, wait. Espera, hablas inglés. Can you understand what I'm saying? And if you can, can you answer me? Si has estudiado inglés antes, pero todavía no lo. Have you ever 50 English? Not this one, guys. There, this one's over. Okay. 
So we have a couple of questions and I'm gonna ask you all and I hope your participation on this. Guys, have you ever been to Machu Picchu? No, I, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't been in Machu Picchu. Okay, so that would be our short basic answer. But since we are super intermediate and almost super advanced, we are going to add a little bit more to it. So we're going to say, no, I have never been to Machu Picchu, but I have been to uh, San Andres. Okay, so you're going to relate to another place or a similar example to where you have been, maybe another country, maybe visited another place, similar to the question I have been asking. Okay, so I have never been to Machu Picchu, but I have been to Casumal, San Andres, or I, 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 or I have I have never been in yeah, I, I have never been in to Machu Picchu, but I have been in Roatan. Very good, very good. Thank you, Ramadez. Okay, and what about you got girls? Jocelyn, Sarai, Jaime? Robert? I have never been to Machu Picchu, but mm -hmm. I have been to Cuba. Cuba, super nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sarai, Wilbert, and Jaime, any examples? <laughs> it's okay. Let's go to the next one. So this was our Machu Picchu example. Let's go to another one. Have you ever the guitar? Have you ever played the guitar? I have not played the guitar. <laughs> I have never but played I, the guitar, but but I have played the. I don't say pandereta. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. It's a good. How do you say pandereta in English? Can you help me out and look for it? No. <laughs> it's a. Uh, I'll let you know in a bit. I'll remember. Okay, pandereta. Okay. Good. Mm. Or I have never played the guitar, but I have played the flute, for example, or the harmonica. Okay. Mm. Huh? Any other example? Sarai, I, have never, <laughs> I have never uh, played the guitar, but I I uh, play the piano. The piano. Very good. Very good. Ramadez, what about you? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't ever played the guitar, but I, I have, I have, um, I have uh, played, I have, I have uh, sing song in karaoke. Okay, but I have sang songs in karaoke. Very good, very good. It counts, it counts, okay, for music. Very good. Okay, next question. Let's go with our next one. It would be, have you ever taken over 1,000 pictures just in one day? Maybe one of your trips. Maybe not 1,000 pictures, but you would take. I have, then again, before, I, before you start giving me your opinion, the opposite of ever is never. So if you're saying, no, I have never, okay, you have to use the word never for the opposite of ever, okay? So instead of that, say uh, never. Okay, have you ever taken over 1,000 pictures? I never, wanna... I never taken. I have never? Oh, no. I have never take taken over, taken over um, 1,000 pictures. Just mm -hmm. in a day. Uh, but I, uh, but oh, I only take one picture. <laughs> I have only taken one picture. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very uh, good. Uh -huh. I, I I I have I have never taken over one thousand pictures just in a day, but I have ever I have ever taken 
uh, over 1,000 pictures probably in two years. In two years, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens, it happens, okay. Let's check out our next one. Have you ever met a famous star? Have you ever met a famous star? Mm. I never. Yes, I have a Dorian one. I never. I have never. I have never yes. met a famous famous star. But. But. Uh, maybe in the future I. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. Okay. Very good. Very good. I have never met a famous star, but I have met, let's give you an example. I have met King Flip. Oh. Let's give you an example. It's not like super, super terremoto, popular. Terremoto, terremoto, terremoto. Exactly. <laughs> or I have never met a famous star, but I have met, I have never met a famous star, but I have met, for example, I don't know, a little viejo. Just to give an example. It doesn't have to be somebody super, super popular internationally speaking but maybe somebody local okay okay anybody else give me an example uh, I, I have never i have never uh, met a famous star but i have i i have uh, ever seen a, a musician in a concert uh, okay a musician uh, playing in a concert very good uh huh it's true or maybe you could even say, I have never met a famous star, but I have observed or I have watched many concerts before, okay? Like Chayanne in Los Angeles Azul, La Tracalosa, you know, but you have not met that person face to face, but you have seen their concerts, even though you are far away from the, from what, the, from what's, the stage. What's the difference of seen and watch? Very good. Watch, you watch TV and you spend a lot of time doing that, okay? That's the difference. Mm -hmm. You spend a lot, a lot of time doing that. Uh -huh. And see, it's just, um, okay, you just do it quickly and then you just pay attention, but not as much as watch. And watch is used only for TV or movies. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with our next question. I'm not going to ask you that one. That's not like an interesting question. Let's, we're going to jump into the other one. Have you ever been or gone? Have you ever gone skiing? Have you ever gone skiing? And it could be any other extreme sport, okay? I have never been skiing, but I have been bungee jumping for example no no i have ever no have never? i haven't i haven't ever uh, gone skiing but i have but i ha but i have gone uh, but but i have ever gone uh, rappel what is that rappel is like ca like canyoning when you when wow. you uh, go down uh, from a um, waterfall uh, with ropes and uh, in a, okay, how I say? Um, Can you show us an image? Come on, let's, we're curious. Rappel, uh, okay. it's the first time I listened to it. Rappel. Rappel, uh, when, when you come down from a, uh, from a waterfall and you use uh, ropes and clips and you how i say descending mm -hmm. descending descending from from the waterfall and and, and you use the rope uh, at the end of the waterfall uh, has a, a a little lagoon and you need to swim when you finish to to come down uh, from descending the, the, the waterfall. 
Wow, that is super interesting. Never heard of it before. I'm going to look it up. Rappel. In Susunate, in Susunate, has? In has a waterfall from 90 meters. 90 or 19? No, 90 meters. 90, 90 meters high. Wow. So that is super intense. That's a super extreme sport. Like, I mean, it's not like something easy to do, right? It's, it takes a lot of courage because it's, we're talking about very, very high waterfall. Wow. Super interesting, it, it Rappel. Been, it, 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 it has been interesting and exciting. Super. Thank you for sharing. I'll look it up. I think you probably. By the way, they sent us, how do you say pa, eh, pandereta? You say tambourine. That's pandereta. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank well, you, Sarai. Thank you. Okay. For our next one, let's continue with our next question. Have you ever been skiing? Our next one is, have you ever ridden a motorcycle? You can say, no, I have never ridden a motorcycle, but I have driven a trailer truck, for example, or a helicopter. I don't know, something else that is not a car, it's something different, okay? Who wants to participate for this one? I, I have never driven, driven, drive, driven, driven, been. Driven? driven a motorcycle, mm -hmm. dri driven a motorcycle, but I have ever driven, driven a, a little truck. Okay, very good. What about you guys? A truck, okay. What about Pablo? Jaime, you haven't participated. Wilbert as well. Tell me, guys. Hi. Give me an example. Aha, hello. Hi, um, I am just connecting with okay. you guys because I was riding my motorcycle. Actually, I was returning home to, from my work and that the storm catch me on the, on the way yeah. home. Okay. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were watching so the... about the question. Have you, in your case, yes, you have ever, pretending that you don't have a, pretending that you don't have a motorcycle, you would say, no, I have never driven a motorcycle. Okay but i have driven and something else okay okay but first first of it i have a question yes because uh, i remember some 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 day somebody told me that uh, we can say ride a motorcycle because la es is like montar right but yeah. i don't know if, if it is that correct if i say i drive or i ride that's a very good question. Guys, you ride, it's just when you have company behind you. So you're riding with that person. Okay, so you're, okay, so when you say, hey, give me a ride, it's because you're not driving, you're getting a ride. So somebody's so taking you. And driving, it's the action of actually keeping the wheel in front of you. So you can actually okay. ride or, you know, drive and ride. It all depends on what you're trying to say. So, for example, you could say, I have, I have never, just to give you an example, I have never ridden a motorcycle, but I have driven it. Or vice versa, I have never driven a motorcycle, mm -hmm. but I have rid, uh, ridden in one of them. So, it's, right. it's you've been a passenger, mm -hmm. but you have never been the, the one actually doing the action. So, you've just been there, hugging somebody, like, and feeling all the, the air. But that's just it. So it all depends on what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, understand. Uh, so I have n I have never uh, been driving or been driving. I have I have I'm not never. Sure about so it would be I have never driven a motorcycle, but in your case because driven. you, okay, you okay. have, but in your case because you have a motorcycle, pretending that you don't you have never been a passenger before, you could say, I okay. have never. Ridden a motorcycle, not driven. Okay. I have never driven a motorcycle, but I have uh, uh, 
but I have a rainy, I have a driven my bike, for example. Yes, I have never ridden a motorcycle, but I have, I have driven one. Mm -hmm. So you have never been the passenger, you have always been I the have, one I driving have... it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Let's go to our next question. Have you, have you ever, tequila, I'm going to leave the question open. So you have to ask the question and answer it yourself. Have you ever, because I can say, have you ever prepared tequila? Have you ever taken tequila? Have you ever bought tequila? No, there's so many questions you can ask with this. Okay, I'll leave it up to you guys. Give me your examples. <laughs> I, I have ever... Uh, I have never. Drinking? I have never. I have, uh, because uh, positive is ever and uh, negative is never. Mm -hmm. uh, I have. I have never. <laughs> but but este, I I I I have ever drinking tequila, but I have never drinking not drunken drink. How I what what is drink, the drunk, drunk. the past. Drink, drunk, drank, drunk. Drunk. Mm -hmm. drunk. Mm -hmm. I have never. I, I, I have. I have ever drunk tequila, but I have never drunk mezcalito. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. I have never uh, made. Or prepared. Right. Mm -hmm. I have never. Or prepared the tequila, mm -hmm. but also I have ever drunk tequila. The difference is that when you make, when you say use the word make, is when you start from scratch. Maybe it's like if you were working my at the hands. factory, oh, okay. ah, like doing it. But prepare is oh. when you already have yeah, the elements was, and you uh, just mix them. Actually, I was talking about uh, made. Uh, I mean, uh, working uh, in a factory. Ah, okay. Like, ah, okay. So I have never made tequila. Yeah. And I have also yeah. never, and also I have never tried it. Drunk. Before. Or yeah. drunk before. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's go to another one. Time's running up I with you have, guys. Cool. I have Last one. never prepare tequila but mm -hmm. i have prepared mojito with rum <laughs> mojitos know. with rum very good okay yeah mojitos with rum very good example okay next question and maybe this is going to be our last one for tonight so have you ever written have you ever written no have you ever read harry potter no, I have not read Harry Potter, but I have read The Lord of the Rings. Hmm? I have never, uh, I have never read uh, Harry Potter, but I have, uh, but I have, uh, I have ever watched the the movies. Okay, I have. But I have watched, you don't need to use ever all the time. You can say, I have watched the movies. I have okay? watched, okay. I have, I have Thank watched. You. Mm -hmm. I have watched. I, I, so I, have, never, use... I have never read uh, Harry Potter, but I have, uh, but I have ever read um, Game of Thrones books. Okay, so just take away the ever. Ever is used more for questions than answering, okay? So have you ever, is si alguna vez tu has? So, okay, so since you're asking, you don't have to answer back. So you can say, I have never read Harry Potter, but I have read really? Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to use okay. ever again, mm -hmm. don't worry. Okay, thank you guys, super. Whew. A lot, a lot of time, you know, time flies with you as always, one hour, sometimes it's not enough. I wish I could do more activities with you, but um, I will see you guys tomorrow same time same place okay 
So enjoy the rest of your evening, okay? Let's go replay that video of our present because we were because we were so responsible being in the class that we were not able to to watch it, okay? So, but I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place, okay? Bye, okay. Ramanes. Bye, Jocelyn. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye, Pablo. Bye, Bye Miss. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. Good night, Sayonara everyone. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good Arrivederci. Salud, pues. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>